Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And I am here to introduce to you my first series here on this channel. It is called the Breakout Series. Um, a little backup story on how I came up with the idea. I have acne prone skin and combination oily skin. So I do have a fear of trying new things sometimes because of the possibility that it'll break me out. The things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis as far as makeup is concerned, foundations, concealers, powders, do just well for me. They do just fine. I don't have any issues. Um, but part of my channel is doing reviews. Um, I enjoy doing it. I love trying new things. I'm a junkie, just like y'all, just like you guys. I'm curious, just like you guys. Things, brands are just pumping out the products, and I want to try everything. And I wanted to do foundation reviews, but I wanted a little twist to it. Because I know all of you guys possibly have acne, combination oily skin, just problematic skin. Anything other than normal skin type. Anything other than a normal skin type. So I really wanted to introduce something, a different aspect to what's already out there. So in this series, I'm going to be testing both high-end drugstore foundations. Episode 1, here we are. I'm going to be testing out the Beauty Bakery Foundation. It's a demi-matte matte formula and... um because I have that combination skin in my T-zone, forehead, chin, and this cheek area, not so much here, but around the nose, gets very, very oily throughout the day. And I just wanted to see not only the quality of the foundation, not the, only the finish, not only the blendability, the buildability, um, you know, I wanted to see if it was going to break me out by the time the day is up because usually if a foundation breaks me out, it's going to, I'm going to have little something, something popping up on my cheeks, especially by the end of the day, by the end of the day, when I take my makeup off, something is popping up and the irony of this and this being my first episode, the beauty bakery foundation, it comes in this little box it says it is vegan, long-lasting, and non-acnegenic. The irony. So, um, I'm really excited to introduce this series on my channel. And it's going to be on Foundation Fridays. I know that's like... So, the foundation I'm going to be reviewing today is the Beauty Bakery Foundation. It says Demi Matte... Well, I'm sorry. Beauty Bakery... Cake Mix Demi Matte Foundation. Vegan, long-lasting, non-acnogenic formula. So, it just comes in a little box like that. And then, look at that. It's so cute. And a little fake mirror and a little thing. It's so cute. And it just slides out like this. Take out the box. Um, it says, okay, so I'm recording. Sorry, I just had to make sure. So it says, you will need the foundation, the beauty oil, which I also bought because I want to do a full on test of this whole foundation combination. I didn't get the beauty eggs or the blending brush or anything like that because I have a beauty blender and the reviews that I saw myself. Nobody likes the BDX. Like, why would I buy that? Nobody likes it. So, whatever. So, before you cake, you will wake and bake, prep the skin with the oil. So, we have here the Beauty Bakery Baking Oil for Face. It says, perfect for all skin types. Our vegan baking oil will leave your complexion hydrated and glowing. Gently 
the directions gently massage two to three drops onto clean skin allow baking oil to absorb into skin before applying makeup okay so i'm just gonna crack this open or at least try to crack it up a good lord okay so this is what this looks like and we're gonna start here first and we're gonna say a prayer lord don't let this oil in this foundation break me out but this is what we're here for we're here to see if it's gonna break me out and then i do believe that that'll help everybody else kind of gauge kind of gauge what they're gonna do i mean it says non-acnogenic so we're just gonna see so i'm gonna i'm just gonna personally do two drops one two It smells like it's not far off from my nighttime sleeping oil. Um, it's not far off from a lot. Okay, so I got the color number 27. And it lets you kind of, it has other shades and other brands to let you and that helps you kind of gauge your shade so it had Fenty Beauty and NARS on there so I just gauged my shade from there so we're just gonna see so I'm gonna do one pump and let's see what that does oh it's from the looks of it, you kind of have to work fast with this. Oh, look at that. I'm looking in my mirror. Purge. And the color looks pretty good. Um, It matches my neck, especially on camera. I'm really impressed with the color match okay so just by looking over here it's very light coverage um but I think it did say medium to buildable so it is a medium coverage um which I personally like but I am going to try to build it just for the sake of the video just build it in the areas where issues but um I'll blend it out it looks pretty great I'm not gonna lie um but I am going to put more here just on my cheek area probably like half a bump just to really okay yeah that really covered it up and the uh, I have darkness around my mouth so really cover that do another half a pump over here. To really just cover those problem areas that I do have every now and then. 
usually at night I'll do full coverage. So this is the foundation. All right, y'all. So with some patchy realness going on, um, I highlighted and contoured with the LA Pro and my favorite concealer right now. This is the Fora Gel Serum Concealer. This is in my favorite video. If you didn't see that, check that out. Um, that concealer has never given me an issue. It's like right here, like this patchiness. I don't know what that is about. But I'm going to set that with my Sasha Buttercup powder on camera and see what happens. Because this patchiness is for the birds. See if that fixes it or my lids too like it's weird it blended out on my forehead and my nose just fine my contour blended out fine mm, there's some patchiness there too right there a line just like a, a patchy line like what the heck i don't know maybe this foundation is just too dry for those particular products but that's annoying because I don't want to have to work hard to <sighs> my brush fell um I don't want to have to work hard at this foundation when it's other foundations that don't give me a hard time like this as far as blending my other products on top of it And I'm setting the rest of my face with my Sasha Buttercup powder. And I'm just going to, I just wanted to show y'all that patchy foolery. And I'm going to finish and then come back because that was a concern. All right, y'all. So I'm back. I finished the rest of my makeup. I just did this natural brown smoke. But this is the foundation up close. Um, like I said, I'm still impressed with the color match. It's only been probably like 30 minutes and my oils are peeking through right here. So we're going to see. I'm going to wear it probably till about 8 tonight. I'll check with y'all halfway through. And we are going to test if this foundation makes or breaks me. So. Can in the mirror. I don't know if y'all are just lighting this a little bit. Okay, maybe like this. I don't know. But, um... So y'all can see up close, it's looking, <sighs> Jesus, it's, mm, it's just looking for me a little bit cakey. And I don't know if it's because I didn't really use a primer because I primed my face with that oil the beauty oil and that's what it says to do and I was just following the directions but I usually use the Too Faced peachy matte primer and it's pore filling and it's mattifying so it's not as oily as I thought it was going to be but I really don't like using the oil base like that is just hands down like I'm not into that um I mean just around here it just looks so porous and disgusting like I'm just not into it I'm not into it I'm not into it so um, I put the foundation on at about 10 o'clock and it's 1 30 so 10 11 12 1 Okay, so this cake here is something I've never experienced. 
as well as like I said the patchiness like it's a uh, I almost wish my ring light wasn't so potent so you can really like see the the patch and then it's like where the rest of the concealer is so it's like concealer powder patch concealer powder foundation all that kind of stuff and it is so cakey like on top of the oil it's cake everywhere and it's just like these are not my vibes like I'm gonna let him zoom out. Like, these are not my vibes. I'm a very flawless base, inconspicuous skin kind of girl. Like, I'm okay with, like, the doll face. I'm okay with full coverage Um, every now and then or at nighttime more of, I feel like my skin just goes crazy and I could use a fuller coverage. Or I'm just in the middle of not one full coverage. But, like, this amount of oil is unreal for me. Um, it didn't necessarily say state the longevity. Let me see. Yeah, like, bro, it's like, your girl's not down, okay? I don't like priming my skin with oil, and I was just trying to follow the deck on directions. Like it said, priming your skin with oil, with the baking oil stuff, so I did. So I didn't use any other primer. I didn't use the pore filling primer that I usually use, like I stated earlier before. <sighs> I just feel like a oily, cakey mess, which is such an oxymoron. Why are you oily and cakey at the same freaking time? Like, that doesn't make sense. I will say, though, this little bump that I had, um... Before I put the, put the foundation on was there before I put the foundation on. Because I won't be wearing this again. I don't even know if I'm comfortable enough to use it on a client. Because it's untrustworthy. Like, it's kind of like... If you don't use it with the beauty oil, the beauty bakery oil, what's going to happen? The patchiness from my under eye concealer that I always use that I've never had a problem with. It's kind of like, so can I or can I not use this foundation in conjunction with other products, period? Can I not use it with other primers? Can I not use it with other non-beauty bakery products? Because when I ordered the foundation and the beauty oil, I didn't even think about the concealer I wasn't even thinking about it um I was so focused on the foundation because this is a foundation series so and I'm a I like trying new foundations and I love trying new concealers too but um it's just like if it's not gonna work with any of the products that are in beauty bakery what is the point because everybody has their own customized face routine foundation and concealer whatever you just know whatever finish you like whatever works for you whatever you like you know what I'm saying so I just really really am disappointed I really as far as the quality the shade match was on point and their shade range is on point the on acne J component is on point the buildability I'll give that about a six or seven out of ten just because you can build it but if you like the cakey look it's up your alley if you don't it's a no-go and the ability to use it in conjunction with other products is just a no-go like I'm sorry like you see it here like 
you can't. It's a no. So those are my final thoughts. If you want to try it, go for it. Um, the shade range is so amazing. As well as the actual formula. I do, the only way I feel like I can wear this is to wear one layer. Which is normally what I would do anyway. Um, but I personally wouldn't really use the beauty oil. Like, if you're oily, why would you use the beauty oil? Like, that doesn't make sense. It's such... It's so backwards. It's so backwards. Like, I would think that somebody with dry skin that wanted to use this foundation would use the beauty oil. Not somebody with combination oily skin. That just does not make sense. It doesn't make sense. But even on the back of the box, it says you low-key, it insinuates that you need the beauty oil for this product to work the way it needs to work. So... If you can't just use it effortlessly, it's a no. I'm sorry. Would I repurchase this? No. Would I recommend it to you guys? No. Would I re would I use it on a client? No. It's a no. I'm not trying to bash anybody. I plan on ordering from Beauty Bakery in the future. But personally, it's a no. So... That's my verdict. It's a no. But thank y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below and click the little bell 